Hi, in this tutorial we will see how to remove some of the topological artifacts that appear in a mesh. Uh, topological artifacts are a really big group of possible kind of problems in uh, uh, 3D geometries and uh, they usually appear uh, after um, remeshing operation like merging or severe simplification and these topological artifacts can prevent from the use of other processing filters or they could even lead them to crash. Some of the topological artifacts in a mesh are very easy to be detected and removed and they don't change uh, at all the shape of the, of the 3D mesh. So in this uh, tutorial we will see some of the very easy to use uh, cleaning filters to remove these artifacts. So this uh, kind of procedure uh, can be applied uh, every now and then while you process a mess mesh and it really takes seconds. All of these filters are in the cleaning submenu. And uh, okay, the first one is the removed applicated faces and essentially it simply does what it says. So it removes uh, any kind of faces which has the same vertices, uh, which are defined by the same vertices. So they are just uh, redundant in defining the surface. And, uh, Every time that you apply the filter, you get a feedback about uh, its result uh, on the on the dialog. And uh, here, for example, you can see that there was no duplicated faces in the mod in this model. The second filter is the duplicated vertices. In this case, for example, eleven duplicated vertices were found and removed. Another very easy to use filter is the zero area faces, the faces which are defined by three vertices which has the same position. And you see here that there was no zero area faces in this model. And uh, finally, uh, there is another one which is the unreferenced vertices removal. Uh, this removes all the vertices which are not assigned to any uh, triangle in the model. Uh, so they are defined essentially only by their position and these vertices are mm, can be usually um, removed very easily and uh, again you see here that after the application of the filter uh, the reference vertices in this case where there was no reference vertex but uh, the filter was applied to the mesh one important thing is that uh, sometimes some of these cleaning filters uh, can remove the triangles but not remove the vertices so I would suggest to apply the remove and reference vertices filter as the last one of this kind of pipeline and so this these uh, you can see are four very simple uh, cleaning filters and uh, but they can be extremely useful to be sure to have a clean surface on which you can apply filters without problems there are a couple of other uh, cleaning filters uh, which uh, deal with other topological artifacts and they are essentially select self-intersecting faces and uh, the selection of non-manifold edges or vertices. This kind of uh, topological artifacts are uh, more much more dangerous uh, in terms of uh, their effect uh, in the context of the application of, uh, for example, remeshing filters. So it's quite important to uh, be sure not to have them. Uh, some of the remeshing filters don't even work if they no, don't have a two manifold um, uh, geometry. Uh, as you can see, in this case, it's not es essentially a cleaning filter, but it's a selection filter. So if you apply these uh, filters, you just get back a selection of the edges or faces or vertices you ask for and then after that you can decide decide to remove them using the typical button for the removal of selected uh, surfaces uh, this uh, selection filters are a bit more different respect to the first one we, we saw ones we saw because uh, uh, in this case you are selecting and possibly removing a surface while the other cleaning filters essentially don't change anything about the surface because they are removing only redundant or not useful um, parts of the geometry but uh, sometimes it's, ne it's necessary
to make this kind of cleaning. So for example, if you want to apply in a, um, a filter on a mesh and uh, you get back a message which says that uh, the, the mesh must be too manifold uh, to have the filter applied on it, what you need to do is to go in the clean and repair and select non manifold edges and you can have a feedback here for example uh, if there are some if, you, if there are some they are selected and you have to remove them if you want to apply the filter so these are some very basic um, cleaning functionalities that can be extremely useful if you have any problem uh, applying filters in mesh like one of the first thing that you need to do to check if you are able to go on is to clean the surface by removing these artifacts which some, in most of the cases are one of the uh, reasons for things not working in MeshLab. So, thank you.